So why is it worth it to you? <laughs> um, I just, I don't know, I love the feeling when I dance. It makes it all worth it. When you like start dancing, what is usually like what are you thinking about? Oh, that's a tough question. <laughs> um I don't really think about anything. Obviously the steps are going through my head, like I have performances, I have to remember them. But just in class, I don't really think about anything. That's kind of why I fell in love with it. Yeah, it was definitely like an escape from reality. If I had a hard day at school or at work or something, it was nice to come to dance class or to a performance and just forget about all of that. I also am a very shy person, <laughs> um, so it was a way for me to express myself without having to talk on stage or, I don't know, it just came very naturally to me to dance on stage rather than performing or singing. <laughs> I've done several types of dance, but my favorite is ballet. I really like, I do point dance as well. Um, I've tried others like jazz and tap, but those just weren't really my thing. So I've kind of stuck with ballet. I started doing dance when I was about three years old, and then I just fell in love with it and have ever since. <laughs> And I like performing, the performing aspect of it more than the class. The, I like the process, what goes into all the rehearsals and the hard work. It's really fun to see it come together on stage. Most people start doing point when they're like anywhere from 12 to 15, but I started when I was about 10. <laughs> so in, I think I was in third grade. But it's a lot harder to dance on point, obviously, because you're on your toes. Um, you have to go through a lot of training for your feet, your ankles, to make sure they're strong enough. So we actually did, we had a class that was called pre-point, just so like to help us get on point. And we did a lot of exercises for our ankles and our feet to help us with that. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite part was the point shoes and the performances and the costumes, all of it kind of coming together. It made it feel very magical. I just always loved, we had show week three times a year, so it was always fun to, that whole week, kind of um, the anticipation of it practicing on stage, the first time we had our costumes and the makeup and the hair. When it all came together, it was super, super cool experience. I think a good dancer is someone who has a very strong will, a very um, strong body physically and mentally because it can be there some days it's tough to look at yourself in a mirror and you can see everything you're doing wrong and it can just be very discouraging. So you really have to be um, not only confident, but um, you have to be able to move on from the bad things that happen. <laughs>